know what you're thinking. And it's not as close to the stairs as you think it is. It's an optical illusion. Perfectly safe. Well, I have maybe like a foot and a half, but lighting is better over here. Otherwise, it gets very dark. Better. Uh, okay, let's do one at a time. So I am <clears throat> putting some nail polish on my new locks. I have three of them that are identical, and I want to be able to tell them apart easily and the keys apart easily. So I'm going to color code them with nail polish. I've been doing a lot of work at the fort lately. It's been nice to be there. It's, uh, it's gotten to be a huge mess, and I've sort of avoided it because it's been messy. And just because the space hasn't been as functional as I'd like it to be, but there's really no solution to that other than making it functional. So that is what I'm doing this week. The city finally came by and pulled the wall down today. I've been expecting it for a couple of weeks. I knew it was on the list, and apparently they came a week early because the weather was so bad in Bastrop, they had to skip a project there, or postpone it. So they came down to the fort today with a crew and a few sawzalls and took it down pretty quickly. I was impressed. <laughs> it's amazing what you can get done with a crew. I was jealous. I've been trying to be positive about everything and you know I, I'm happy I have been because there's been no point in stressing out about it. There's nothing I can do about it. Max was saying today that it's an end of an era and it totally is. Like it was this nice little closed off hidden world and so it's going to be way more open and exposed but open to the world, that's a good thing. Um, I'm carving back there, and if I can get my setup looking pretty nice, it'll be kind of a cool carving stage. And if no one complains, then I could be, you know, doing carving shows out in public. I mean, that's the reason to be in the middle of everybody, right? To be seen. While the crew was there, and I was in the backyard filming them, uh, we got to chatting, and I think, and I don't want to get my hopes up, but one of them told me that the area that's being repurposed, the basketball court, is going to be turned into a roller derby practice arena. I don't want to get my hopes up, but I think that would be such an awesome little scene. You know, like have female chainsaw carver and a bunch of roller derby girls all working in the same area. I think it could be a really cool thing to watch, but we'll see. Change is inevitable. It was nice. It was nice to have what we had, but we'll see what we can come up with next. You know, and the nice thing is it's kind of getting me reinvigorated rethinking the space. So I bought all these organizers from Target this week and that's been actually super fun. And the nice thing about this idea too, of these tubs, they have handles on them and they're stacking. So, um, and each one acts as a lid for the next. So I've been kind of putting things thematically together. Like all of my die grinder bits and Dremel bits are in the same tub, but in separate sections. And they have a handle. So all of these things will have a place in the shop, but then I can pick them up and put them in my van and go to a carving event. So that's the thing I've been really looking for ways to still be mobile, but also when I'm in my space, have all my things around me and be able to still work. So I think this is gonna be a really good solution. So today when I was at the fort, I periscoped and a few different people asked me when I would be starting my ASMR channel that I've been talking about on Twitter and other places. And uh, I already launched it a few weeks ago with my friend Max. We're both uh, co-producing it. You can find it on YouTube. It's called Dreaming ASMR. It's very different from the carving stuff, which is why it's on its own channel. A while back, I promised to have a live stream party the moment I hit 75,000 subscribers on YouTube. Well, I hit it a little while back, and I just haven't had time to get it together. But now, we're going to do it. I've decided to do a five carvings in five days stream. So it'll be Monday through Friday. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. Since the wall is coming down, I would like my friends to be there to kind of help me rethink the space, do some painting, reimagine things, and if you are in the chat, you will have some influence as well. So I hope you come. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week. And if you haven't yet subscribed, it's free. You might as well. You're already here. Thanks.